Good afternoon, Americans. This is your favorite alien and Boo Moose Bubba here on the afternoon of Tuesday, September 15, 2020. Sitting in for Andy Rooney today. Well, Americans, 25 years ago, one of Andy Rooney's 60 Minutes uh, rants was an impending doom. This is around 1995, I believe. And the talk of the town back then was that uh, scientists were scared about uh, this uh, iceberg the size of Connecticut dislodging from Antarctica and poor Andy Rooney being from Connecticut. You know him. He would say, oh man, this is the size of my home state. And he says, and I was scared that, you know, you got this... Uh, Iceberg coming in from my uh, this uh, from Antarctica, the size of my home state, going to clobber the United States. But then he said. Then they started to think about the people here. There are some people, and he mentioned Donald J. Trump, that say it's a hoax. Then there are other people like uh, at the time Vice President Al Gore, who oh it's a climate change we have to. Take uh, notice of the climate change, and we're going to pay dearly for it. And then he says, yeah, and you Americans, you could care less, because your answer was, and this is how Andy Rooney put it, oh, well, we can produce more oil. We can chop down more trees. We can lunt for more uh, natural gas. Yes. Mr. Rooney, if you're listening to me upstairs, yeah, I remember that 1995 rant you were doing on that. And everybody, you know, impending doom, they told you, ah, oh, well, yeah, yeah, just go check it, Andy. We want to see the NFL football, so get off our backs and let's put the NFL football, because remember, they followed you on Sunday. <laughs> well, Mr. Rudy, here we are 25 years later, and we've had uh, fires in California galore, and uh, hurricanes in the last three years, in the uh, Gulf Coast and Florida. We had Sandy over the East Coast back in 2012, a couple of years after you died. Uh, and the sea levels are rising. And the heat is, uh, you know, summers are getting really ooh, scorching here. Well, and, you know, they said, oh, well, you know, we got, you can produce more oil, we can produce more natural gas, and we can chop down the trees. Well, they're chopping down the trees at a rate that uh, over in Brazil, they won't have a forest soon. So there's going to be no trees to produce oxygen and take away the carbon dioxide. The oil, they haven't developed anything to put the oil out of business for transportation-wise. Electric cars are still, you know, a thing of the future. Now they're saying 2030 is the first year that you don't have no gas and oil cars. Well, whether that's true or not, we're in 2020 here. Who knows? But, Mr. Rooney, as far as the rant that you did back in 1995, would you know that not a single American has heeded? Now you got Donald J. Trump in the White House. Oh, this is a hoax! And you got people getting killed in California, Oregon, Washington, and all the western states with all those fires that's going on there. And uh, here in the, in the uh, Gulf Coast, you had uh, storm after storm. They got a new one, Sally. Yeah, yeah, it's only a Category 1, they say, but yeah. But it's sitting there, so that water is going to really... At what point do you say, rebuild, really? Because all that catastrophic disasters that's happened since 1995, billions of dollars that's been put into that. How long can you afford to put billions of dollars into your... Gulf Coast, East Coast, West Coast, and the fires. You can't afford to do that anymore. And the reason is because you guys want something because you want it, not because you need it, but because you want it. Then you throw it away, creating more garbage. The Pacific Ocean is a garbage dump. You see what I mean? Mr. Rooney, as an alien from another planet, I don't understand your society. I don't think you even understand your society, did you? 
So for you Americans who are listening to this, I don't understand you. I don't think Mr. Rooney, and he tried, along with Mr. Paul Harvey. But sitting in for Mr. Andy Rooney this afternoon, it's your favorite alien and Boo Moose Bubba saying, Gee, Mr. Rooney, we tried, but I don't think we're going to get as much response as you did in 1995. But anyway, I tried. Good day.